Our talk today is around engaging the modern learner. So of course, the first question that springs to mind is, who is this modern learner? Is as a result of COVID-19, the pandemic, many universities are now ever than ever than before starting to recognize our learners are human beings they're people they have complex lives that being a learner being a student is only one facet of, of who they are they are complex individuals that that learning is not just about a cognitive endeavor it is very much a socio-emotional endeavor so I think perhaps what we've come to realize now and this isn't new I mean I know many um, academics and um, uh, people who work in the sector who I've spoken to over the years who, who always said I always take a holistic view of my students but perhaps what we're seeing now with this pandemic is more and more the sector as a whole is going actually our students our learners are human beings so it is very much I think um, an approach where we've had to be far more flexible far more accommodating with our students and what their particular life circumstances are um, so that does mean being more open about um, due dates for assessment, um, or even, and I can see this going into the future, more flexible about when a student starts. I mean, we all work on the basis of trimesters or semesters. You must start in February, you must start in July. That may not be convenient for a student. So one of the things we've been trialling at, at Deakin is a start any time um, pilot, which as the name suggests, a student say, actually February is not convenient for me. I want to start in, in April or May. Um, I think what we're seeing is students wanting to have greater agency and personalization and, and sort of um, control in saying, this is the learning journey I want to have. This is how I want to experience my learning. If there's such a thing as a silver lining in a pandemic, this opportunity now to say, we cannot go back to the ways we were. So it, it is very much, and you're right, I, I do frequently think about it. It's, it's the university in the life of the student, not the student in the life of the university. And, and that's actually quite a significant shift in not just paradigms or thinking, but actually a shift in the way we function as a business, as a, as a formal entity. And it does require us to think about, um, well, how can and should we be differently moving forward?